That's the opposite of the wheeze. What's that? That's the that's the badger. Oh wow! I've yeah. never met the badger. That's in. The badger's in. The wheeze is out. Whoa! Badger in. Wheeze is out. Sounds badger like- in. Yeah. Wheeze is out. There you go. Dude, that sounded like a lot of like uh, weasel style masturbation going on right there. Second question. The first question was good. Okay. You're riding down the Harland Highway. All right, hold tight on the Harland Highway show. Harland Williams. You can wear your cans. Don't or worry no? about it. Just start rolling. I might have to not wear the cans. I know, but I don't think people like your ears. So maybe if you cover them, you're not. Oh wow, you're right. Now I can. A lot see of people them. don't like your ears. Ah, uh, hey bud. Oh, sorry. Theme music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, now that's right. You're on the Harlan Highway, guy. The Harlan Hershey Highway. Well, let's not go down that Why? road. Why? You live close to West Hollywood, bro. I know, but... I the, see you down there I, a lot. I don't eat chocolate. I don't... I'm not a chocolate well, guy. Well, they eat your chocolate. Well, they, no, I don't allow... To, I'm diabetic. Well, you're very yeah. homophobic. Well, I don't know if I I'm could choco- do this. I'm, I'm very... chocoholic. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Polly Shore here really? on the Harlem Ugh, Highway. People are like, Jesus Christ, why the fuck do you have that guy on your show? Well, the first thing I wanted to ask, because I don't really trust the internet stuff, but do you have polio? That's what it's no, been No, but saying. I like to play polio. I like, to pay po- I like to play polo. Dude, you look like a dragonfly. Well, because it was a You know, now I'm just picturing you laying on a lily pad dropping like eggs. Mm. Whoa, bro. I didn't expect you to come bust in here and go full dragonfly on me. It took you long enough, Harlan. You ever see that movie? It took you long enough. What about that movie, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Hidden Dragon? No, Crouching Died in Hidden Weasel, bro. (laughs) See? (laughs) Chinese face. Oh, come on, dragonfly. Dude, you know, all we need is fucking uh, a little Farley baby on the side right here. And then we're back to square one. A what baby? Farley baby, Kevin Farley. Oh, oh, yeah. Remember we did the thing with yeah, the thing, you, you, but the thing. You, you, you're buddies with Kevin Farley. You're Chris, fucking buddies with him. You're buddies with him. You probably camp with him and stuff and roll around. Well, and, well no. Remember we did that first podcast years ago over yeah. on Sunset? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that was Kevin was your sidekick. Kevin, he was your sidekick. I didn't oh, yeah, even know right. him. Right. It was your podcast. All right, first question. you have it on your thing? Well, the first thing I was asking is, do you I have don't polio? Have poli- um, I don't you, know. I, how do you how do you get tested for it? Well, look at you. You look. I mean, malnutrition. I don't know. You do you think you have it? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the so, way I, I look at myself, I don't say, "Oh man, you might have polio." When I look at myself, but do others um, look at you and go, "That guy's riddled with polio"? Huh? I'd probably have to ask them after they see my face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had like uh, any type of uh, like ailment, like a physical ailment attributed to you, like a, a name of a disease or uh, if, well, it was wh- nice having polish on the podcast. Say it. Wh- where Say are you going? It, it was really nice, nice having the dragonfly. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Sexual assault is <laughs> not part of the. Fuck are you thinking? You dude, this shit away. dude, you you're not touching shit. this beef. Make a dig with a Bobby Lee. Wow. Whoa. Hey, nice try, huh? The dragonfly's on the loose. Wow. <laughs> Look, you got all right because no one yeah. ever... Att- you know, dude, it's like I'm mm-hmm. fucking Will Smith and you're fucking it's Kanye like you, West. You Chris rocked me right out of the gate. Yeah, Kanye West. Did you bro. try to power slam me? <sighs> but has anyone ever attributed you? Because when I th- I think of the, there's one and th- take don't take this the wrong way. I've already taken everything you fucking said the wrong no, way. No, you can say it to me too. You, okay, I, I might have an ailment, but I think of and I don't think this exists. But saliva warts. Saliva warts. Is that something that you could have started? That's or? more like um, what's that called? Uh, that's called oh, fuck. I forgot the name of what? it. Shit. Um, uh, canker sores. Yeah, but I've that's heard saliva, of those. Saliva warts is a, is your version of canker warts. But I feel like that's something you could start. Saliva warts. I do have I do have a club foot. 
Are you serious? Yeah. So I have a club foot. No way. Yeah. So that's. I mean, if you if you look at me when I what I'm just saying. Yeah. If you look at me when I stand, it's off just a hair. It's about a half inches. How so I have like a, 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 a. I have an extra. Well, you asked me if I had any ailments. Yeah. So I have like a, a pad on my um on my left foot. It's a little bit shorter than the right foot. Like, you know, a club, so that's a club foot's the gateway to polio, right? Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I'll have, you, to, I'll have to Google it. How'd you get All a, right, first question. First question. I got to know how you got a club foot, guy. I just, when they pulled me out, they pulled me out of my mom. It was just they pulled one leg a little harder. Was the umbilical cord wrapped around your foot? No, was it wrapped around my penis. Holy, choke me out and take me to fucking Denmark. Dude, we're down the motherfucking Harlan Hershey motherfucking oh, right highway. There, guy. Da, 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 da. Right there. First question. I'm dude. asking the first this question. This is not how you do this a podcast. Well, you ask questions. You know what? In Ginger Snap Land, you do it my way. Okay, that's good. I like that. Uh, but you started out with the weasel thing. Now you're asking questions. I want to go back to polio. Well, do you have it or don't you? Because you look a little crooked up. No, I don't. Well, leprosy? Mm. Mm. I could. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. You came in here strong with the weasel thing right out yeah. of the gate. Yeah. And I thought, you know, you, you're one of the rare guys in the world that coined a phrase, mm. like a pop culture mm. phrase, the weasel, right? Yeah, the weasel. But that was then. This is now. Can, it's still the wheeze, bro. It still works. God damn it. No, it's still good. Yeah. But what I'm asking you, guy, can me and you come up with a new catchphrase for the folks watching to... Well, I have a new one, too, that I use. It's what? called Spatch. Okay. T Spatch. S-P-A-T-C-H. What does so, it mean? So it means when someone comes up to you or you're not into something, you go like this. That's Spatch. Yeah, spatch. spatch. Like you're trying to spatch me off your podcast right now. You sure, it's not just like, fleas. No, you're like you know, it's like someone comes up. If you're yeah. not into something, like spatch, bro. But you're into this, right? You're not. Yeah, spatching. no, I'm not spatching this. Who'd you just look at? Your producer in Tacoma? No, I was, just, I was just, you know, I was looking around, wondering if I was getting spatched. No, you're in. You're in. Well, what can we come up with together that's a new catchphrase for the world to Polio. use? Polio. No, but that's a, a disease you've oh, got. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like you got. <laughs> what was that? I have GERD as well. That's another um, catch, GERD? Catch Wasn't race. that one of the Muppets? No, that's that's uh, Larry in, uh, I forgot his name. GERD? God, oh, the dragonfly. Dude, when you see Bobby Lee, do you touch his face? I slap it around you a did, little. Right? Yeah, I like it pink. I did Stevie's podcast, uh, Stevie and Jeremiah. What? Well, Jeremiah yeah. is uh, Jeremiah Watkins, yeah. and then you got Stevie, Wattie. Stevie, Stevie Lee. Yeah, yeah he's the uh, he's brother the brother of uh, Bobby Lee. Yeah, but he's like the Tony Rock of Bob. You know what I mean? He is. And uh, he's not as as pleasant to touch his face. Did you spatch him? I spatched him. Yeah. Dude, we got to come up with a catchphrase, though, because we get the... I know, it's daunting. And it's uh, we got the TikTok kids. Do you have cheese and crackers? We got the cheese... Wait, is that this... I like cheese and crackers. Yeah, but we that's not a saying. Mm. We got to come up with a cool saying that the, your kids can say on the street, Brosh. Well, the, a lot of the kids are saying fire. That's a big one. No, that's from 1997. That is they so fire. fire. That's fire. That is so fire. Yeah. Or lit. That's or, or they are... also go B B B B. But what's a new one oh, that a no new one's one. ever heard? Like something to do with the TikTok, Insta, okay. like, like Um What about Salisbury, bro? <laughs> Wait. Salisbury. Yeah, what's that mean? Salisbury, dude. It means like it's juicy and moist and fucking fun to eat. <laughs> okay. What about we? Hey, bro. When you get, let me check out your Salisbury, dude. Oh, yeah, I like it. What do you it. think? Yeah, Salisbury. That is so Salisbury. First question. Thanks. Oh, Thanks. oh. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, what was I going to ask you? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can bring this up, and you can stop me if you want. Okay. But we had a conversation once. Uh oh. And you dated. A hottie named Kylie Minogue, oh, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I want to know how that first, like, how do you ask out Kylie Minogue, guy? Like, we're talking the do, do, do. What's her song? 
Na 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 I can't get you out of my heart And all the love and the tears Were you the inspiration for that song? Yeah, no, I was the one That was the one that actually made her write that song For her new boyfriend after she dumped me But how did you ask her out? Come on, everyone wants to know how you asked Kylie Minogue out The first time Come on. Well, I was pretty lucky because we did uh, a movie called Biodome together. She was in that? She was in Biodome. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you pay attention to my films, you cocksucker piece of shit. <laughs> I don't I watch Salisbury your fucking me, bro. Movie. Salisbury. I want a juicy Salisbury, I know, dude. I know you do. Juicy. No, um, no, she was in Biodome. She was one of the stars of Biodome. Oh, wow. So she was one of my love interests uh, on the film. And oh. I just thought she was adorable. I thought she was sweet. Oh. I didn't know who she was. Yeah, you know, um, you knew she was Australian, right? Yeah, I knew she was like a singer, but that's all I knew. I didn't know how big she was, and she just was so charming and so adorable. And she showed up, and it was like wow. And and it was just you know, it was one of the those onset things where I just you know I fell in love with her. Did she have the yeah. sex appeal thing? No, like some girls are beautiful, some girls are hot, but some girls just have that kind yeah. of vibe where it's like yeah. they just emote sex appeal. She was. Yeah, yeah, I yeah thought she so. was. Yeah, she was just. Uh, um, uh, she was juicy treat, bro. Oh. Just really sweet. You know, I took her yeah. to Las Vegas for the first time. You did? Yeah, we took her to the Bahamas for the first time. Wow. Yeah, we we traveled around. She was. How uh, long were you, did you date her for? Probably like six months after the movie. Wow. Towards the end of the movie, and then and then maybe about maybe maybe four or five months. <sighs> I wonder, Ooh, just to was, help our viewers visualize. You mean your viewer? My viewer. What's well, his, I said viewers. I have two. Oh, who are they? Uh, Don and Carol. Say what's up, Don and Carol. Hi. Yeah, they're in Cincinnati. I like yeah. you, your yeah. Chinese face. Well, they are Asian. Oh, yeah, I yeah. don't like you. I don't like you no more. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's going on with your hat? It's like a helicopter propeller. Oh, here he goes. Here he, no, you're not, you're not going to Salisbury me. You, dude. Whoa, power block. The dragonfly got power dropped. Got to sit down and relax, Sorry. corn on the cob. Sorry. That's the opposite of the wheeze. What's that? That's the, that's the badger. Oh, wow. I've yeah. never met the badger. That's in. The badger's in. The wheeze is out. Whoa. Badger in. Wheeze is out. Sounds badger like- in. Yeah. Wheeze is out. There you go. Dude, that sounded like a lot of like uh, weasel style masturbation going on right there. Second question. The first question was good. Okay, do you have so a dog or something. There's a dog around here. No, what I want to do is if you'll indulge me, because I, I, my two viewers want to know what Carol and who Don Carol and Don. What's it like to go on a dinner date mm. with Polly Zachary Shore? It's and, Montgomery Shore. Well, it's my show. That's true. Sorry, uh, I apologize. Yeah. Uh, so what I is like, this a show? Well, it's it's kind of a chit chat. Mm. Yeah, because to me, a show like you see showgirls, there's I music, know, there's I a know, monologue. I know this is a chit yeah, chat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what I'd like to do is <laughs> is how about this? I'm the girl. Okay. And we go out to a restaurant, and this is our first date, and I, we're sitting down to dinner, and I want people to get a sense of what it's like. You go on that first dinner date with Polly Shore. Okay, say action. Okay, and action. Hey, babe, what is your Chinese? Oh, um, Chinese. I don't play like that, Polly. I would just rather order first. Can we? And cut. So that's pretty much it. What, are you cereal? <sighs> yes. That was like aggravated dude, assault. Yo, 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 yo. Yo. Salisbury, dude. <laughs> Salisbury. No. Juicy, um, dude. I'm kind of, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's definitely like, uh, you know, first, if you're talking first date, yeah, first date, you're definitely not trying to get laid. I'm not. No, I'm no. no. Oh yeah. I should have said, I'm definitely trying not to get laid. You're not. No. On the first date. Why can't we talk about this as a couple though? I think, I think it would be better if we channeled this. So, Polly, um, this is a great place, and... Oh, you want to act out as if 
the girl. I'm being oh, the girl. Oh, yeah. The, well, that's weird, dude. You don't look like a pretty girl. I know, but it's this is for okay, the let folks. Me, okay, let me, let me, let me try yeah. to concentrate. <sighs> okay, say action. Action. Hey, what's up? Hi, Polly. Hi, uh, what's your name? Oh, wait, no. So your name's, uh, let's, let's call you Summer. Summer, hi. Summer, hey, Summer. Hi, I um, love this place. What is this place? This is a tiki seen... bar. It's a tiki bar. Oh, and my God. The, yeah, this is a tiki bar. Oh no, I like God. to come here because they okay. have great drinks. Oh, are, we, are you going to order me a drink? They have a great Mai Tai here. They got a great <sighs> uh, Flaming Lips. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they have great Flaming Lips. And they Sounds also have a, a great poop. Aggressive. They have a great poo poo platter. Oh, what's that? It's just it's a it's a mixture of like uh you know some some Sichuan dumplings mm. and then also it's got some uh, egg rolls, oh. or as I, they like to call them here egg rolls, egg rolls, egg rolls, egg rolls. Oh my and god, I've never heard it put that way before. How fun! Yeah, and we got some noodles. Oh my so god! So do you want me to order for us? Well, Polly, I was. Or are you hoping, are you a vegan well, or something? I was thinking about maybe I was in the mood for a shank. Like a shank of lamb or some beef Wellington. I think they can prepare that for you. Oh, you wouldn't mind. Yeah, but we get some. Can I we get some waters with lemon, please? I don't want to be fussy. We get some waters with lemons, please. So you always get the water with the lemons because oh, it's good. It kind of nurtures helps, your thing. Helps my shank yeah, yeah, go down. Thing. I really want something so to lubricate tell me, my shank. So yes. tell me, what's your passion? Well, I'm working in the marine biology field. And no, but what's your passion? What gets you out of bed? Well, it's working on sea urchin reproductive systems. So you love the, it? Up at the marina, at the aquarium, and we're doing all kinds of wonderful research, Polly. Uh -huh. and, and then did you see the, uh, the, uh, the, the tiger whale, the new documentary on Netflix? I'm afraid there's not such a species. <laughs> no, it's a tiger, tiger, it's a tiger whale. Uh, there's a tiger shark. Yeah, the tiger shark, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so have you seen that yet? Well, because you work at the marine place. I, figured I you haven't had time. In yeah. fact, I, if I can be honest, I was actually going to blow this dinner date off because we're so deep into our research. But mm. I'm just So why didn't you research? In so deep. Say that again. Deep. Really deep. We go real deep into our research. All right, part. cut. We got that. that's enough of the fucking date, dude. Well, come on, guy. It's, it's a, like it's I, I feel like, I don't know. I didn't even get to order my shank. Are you mad that you weren't in Guest House, my movie, that's going to come back to Netflix in two weeks, you fucking dumb <laughs> eat, son of a bitch? Eat your P Salisbury. You know what I'm saying? It comes back on Netflix in two weeks. Your movie. That's okay. It's a good, it's good, good movie, right? Yeah, it was great. Okay. But you, I wanted to be with you in it. I know, but I wanted to be in something that we could be like, kind of like what we just I did, like where we can get I like deeper. That. Yeah. I like yeah. That. The guest house thing was a bit. So tell me this, it was Paul. It's a bit spatch. It's what? It was a yeah. bit spatch. It was a bit spatch. Did, did you love it, the guest house movie? I did. It did. It was cool. It was fun. Yeah. Bobby yeah. Lee was in it. Mm hmm. Um, what's going on with the state of where we're at these days, mm. buddy? In terms of comedy, because when we started, mm. you got on a Tonight Show, mm. you got on a late night talk show, you did a TV show, you did a movie. Is that all gone now? Do you yeah, feel Steve like Steve Jobs fucked it up? What? The, what's Steve how the Jobs. hell? Do, what's the what's the path now for for comics? Now it's pretty much Rogan and everyone else. You, you know? think so? Yeah, it's kind of like what we're doing here. It's like this is it. This is why I'm sure you're doing it. It's like you got a podcast, you got Twitter, you got a Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. This is the world, YouTube. You yeah, know, look yeah, at yeah. Ari just Ari just put his special out on YouTube, and it's kind of like, that's it. You're just paying for your own special. You're owning it, and you're licensing it, and you're not really making your money back. You're and not. Not really. I don't think so. I mean, not if you want your special to look really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could spend 10 grand on it. It could look like shit. Yeah. Or you could spend 100, 200 grand on it and make it look dope. But you're not going to see that money back on it. But do you like this method? Like it's so I different don't. from how we came no, up. I don't. Because why? Because it's a lot. It's it, it's um, <clears throat> I guess the word is white noise. There's too much. You know, I have a saying that the good part about the internet is everyone can get on the internet. Yeah. And the bad part about the internet is what everyone get on the internet. Yeah. So everyone is out there just watering everything yeah, down. Exactly. So like guys like us, wow. you know, to break through. It's a lot. It's a lot harder. So then you find yourself saying, "Why am I doing this?" And you say, "Well, you know what? I love it. You love it. Yeah. yeah so that's kind of like why you we do, do it. love it, right? Yeah, yeah. It's your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I love it, and in and, and um, 
And I do the YouTube thing. I have my band, which is fun. I you have just, a band? Yeah, I have a band. What do you do? You sing? Yeah, I'm the singer. It's called the Krusties. This is my band. I didn't know you sang, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's Polly Shore and the Krusties. It's my band in Las Vegas. I'm not opposed to being serenaded. Oh, are you okay? Just the soda. Are you are you are you in for a serenade? Yeah. So um, I mean, I'll take a song if you want to belt one out at me, guy. Do you have anything like soft and like a love song? Mm. Her name is Rio, and she dances on the sand. It's like the river takes her to the dusty lands. And when she signs, she really shows you all she can. The Rio, Rio, and she's called the Rio Grand. Do, 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 do. But that's not do. yours. I don't say I sing my own songs. They're well, cover songs. You didn't say that out of the gate. I well, never, I never. We just, yeah. Okay, so Rio. No, I don't do that song. No, it's me and a bunch of senior citizens in Vegas. We play in my my garage, and then we do some shows around town. Good God, it's fun. Um, so so back to your back to your thing. I mean, we we don't have any. This is it. Yeah. This is where the cheese is. You want to be in show business? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, podcast. Say it. Facebook, Facebook Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Twitter YouTube, YouTube podcast. podcast. But do you feel That's- sad that? Because when we came up, man, you had to get like on The Tonight mm-hmm. Show and on Letterman and you had to get a, like a sitcom and you had mm-hmm. to get little parts in movies and yeah. then hopefully get your own, which is everything you did. Remember the, t- the time we used to just audition, how much yeah. fun it was. You get your yeah. sides yeah. and you get a Sharpie or, or, or a highlighter yeah. and you put your name. Oh, that's Ralph. I'm playing Ralph. And you, yeah. you work with a coach sometimes and then yeah. you go in there. Did you work with an acting coach? I did. No way. Yeah. Yeah. But do you, isn't it weird? Do you think it's it sucks now, the method? Because it, it seems like we had such a kind of a plateau way of going up incrementally. Yeah. And you could feel it building. And now it just feels like anything could happen with a with a viral video or something. It is what it is. It's like the, the, the way that it is yeah. is that the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, 2000s were all the same. Yeah, right. It was all the same. That's the right. The only thing that changed was ca- uh, was ca- uh, album to cassette to CD. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But other than that, the styles were different. There, but it was still the same thing, which is you know you get on Carson, you get on Letterman, you get on Conan, you do an album, you do that that stuff. But you know, even like if you're if you're a pretty girl back in the old days, which I was, yeah, back in the old days, you would go you would audition for Playboy or Maxim or FHM, which I did. And, yeah, so you know. Yeah. So what was it like when you did the the Maxim spread? God, I do. I went straight to Penthouse. I oh was, wow! I was um, uh, Miss November in uh, 1994. Yeah, so you Cherry. probably met. I went you under probably the name met Cherry. Bob Guccione Jr. Yeah, yeah. Casting. Right? He casting couched me and everything. Yeah. Uh, so I was in. I was in Hustler. Are you serious? Yeah. So I sucked Larry Flint's penis, but I, you know, I, I wanted to suck his penis. Did you do a centerfold spread? I did. What'd you go on? What name? Um, chastity. I was cherry. Well, we what, prob- wait, what year? We probably went to the AVNs together. What, what year were you? I was 97. I was 97 too. So that's what I'm saying. What month? Uh, August. I was November. Thank God we didn't crisscross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you so remember yes. if cherry crossed chastity? Talk yeah. about a bitch slap fast. I remember her. So did so you yes, do full so- spread Eagle? I did. I did full spread. Yeah. My spread was like it was an office space theme, so I had shots of me. Well, if you're going to laugh. <laughs> Chinese face. Dude, I did a spread where I had one shot where I was bent over a uh, an inkjet photocopier. Oh, wow. And then I had the other one, the classic. I twirl around in the boss's leather chair and put my legs up on the desk. Uh, so you had a, a lot of different themes. Yeah, and I had the uh, the uh, drop the paper clip holder thing mm. on the ground, and then my little skirt. Yeah, well, that's what it was. What was yours? What was your setup? <sighs> I played like a um, kind of a cheerleader. Oh wow! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was Chastity cool. the cheerleader. Yeah, and there was a lot of different uh, football players around, and it was like ah, that type wow. of thing. Wow! Did you yeah. do a signing or anything? I, used I did. To go yeah, and yeah. Do signings. Yeah, yeah, we did that. I did one in Burbank. Oh, wow. But by Bob Hope's airport. Yeah, I did one at there. the Armenian Community Center. We had yeah. one out there. Yeah, yeah no, you, you, you're you very big in the Armenian. I know you're yeah. very. Yeah, it's yeah. Your, yeah, you go in Glendale a lot, right? Glendale party player. Yeah. I'm a party so, player. Uh, 
So yeah, it's it, it is what it is. There's no turning back now. I mean, you got Kanye West wearing fucking Nazi crucifixions now. Is you he? Got, yeah, dude. Wait, he's wearing. Yeah, he's wearing Nazi shit now. He is. Yeah, he's got like cru- literally swastikas. No, he's got he's got like you know his, I guess what? this thing's called Yi or something. Yi, you know Yi. Yeah. So he did like a, a swastika. I saw it on Instagram. No. Yeah, like he's into Hitler. So. Jesus, bro. And being Jewish, you know, I'm a little bit offended. You're Jewish too? Mm, yeah. Wow. And with polio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so. Did you see Nicolas Cage on my video? That's cool, right? Yeah, you, you hang out with some pretty cool Yeah, celebs. he's he's awesome. What's going on with Cage? Because you were he's, just with him, what, today or yesterday? Yesterday. He's uh, flying to Ireland. To do what? Ghost to Rider two, 4? No, to do two weeks on a film. What film? I don't know the name of it. Do you get um, intimidated hanging out with like big celebrities like that? No, because he's nuts like you and me. He is? Yeah. What's he's got go- a good sense of humor. What's going on with Nicolas Cage? Here we go. Well, whatever you think about him yeah. is, is, I don't want to say it's true, but he's, 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 he's goofy. You know, he, he's yeah. a sweetheart. He's you a- know, he goofs around, which is fun. When you're just one-on-one with him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys camp? We've camped. We've camped, mostly at sushi bars. He took me to the sickest sushi bar yesterday. Oh, my God. I, got, I threw up. It was so good. Ew. Yeah, I threw up fish whenever. Oh, why? <sighs> I don't know, man. <laughs> were, you, were you drinking sake? We were. So you go to a sushi bar with Nicolas Cage. Downtown up, L.A. Puke up raw fish all over. Did you get any on Nicolas Cage? I did. What did he say? He rubbed it in. He liked it. Fish oils, essential mm. fish oils. And then I talked to Charlie Sheen. No. Yes. This all happened yesterday. Yes. So you're caging it up and sheening it up in one day. Mm. We're all from the same kind of era. You're from that era as well. Yeah, but I don't party player with power players. Well, you're Canadian, bro. You're lucky to fucking still be here. What the in hell? In fact, Wait. can I see your papers? What the hell did you Let have to see say your papers. to Charlie Sheen guy? What did I have to say yeah, to him? What are you? What is Polly Shore and Charlie Sheen talking about? That's what I'd like to know. Well, he wants to get in another film. He says, "Are you doing Encino Man too? Because I'd like to be in that." So I'm thinking about maybe are casting. You, you're yeah. doing Encino well, Man. Brendan's not going to do it. Because, Why not? Well, he's doing the whale. Why you got to cut him out? He's cut himself out. He's an. He's getting an Oscar for the whale, dude. Yeah, but doesn't mean the whale can't go Encino. He's not going to do that. What the hell? Shit. Now where are you going? I got to wipe this down. I don't want to fucking, I don't want to bow your wood, bro. Bow your wood? I like it that you know carpenter terms. Yeah. Do you know how to build stuff? Hey, let me ask you about your relationship situation. Because I see you out there like, I see, you know, do you ever see that uh, the show, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, the Deadliest Catch. Yeah. You know, with the fishes oh, on the boat. Like, uh, you masturbate to that, right? There's no masturbating. Because when I see you in your your r- r- ruralness, you have a boat or some shit. You know, you're always yeah, out there in the I jungle love, and shit. I love, I love fishing. So, yeah. But you're solo all the time. So, yeah. so when you're doing your shtick, because yeah. that's what you do, shtick, because when yeah. the camera's not on, you're a yeah. fucking asshole. So when you do your shtick, yeah. is your babe in the back, like in the cabin? I'll say this. Yeah. I don't normally talk about my private life, but I walk amongst the creatures of the night. So you have a babe or what? You get a little wood. Take, take it as you will, guy. Do you date Mark, Mark Maron's girlfriends? I don't know if Cause you... Because I see I see him... you know the term she-nymph? Mm. I do. Well... I think that's all you need to know. That's true. Okay, I get it now. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, but I ain't oh. never dated no Kylie Minogue, bro. Oh, oh. the dragonfly! You weren't, in, you weren't in the movie Biodome, dude. I almost was. I told you that story. I was the original guy cast in Biodome. You still don't believe that, do you? You and Keith Coogan. Me and Dana Gould, comedian Dana Gould. Mm. Me and Dana went in and read. Open casting call. Open casket? Open casket call. Right. I'm just one of the first things I did when I moved to L.A. Go in, audition against all these funny people. Mm. According to the director, get the part. He says, you and Dana are the guys. Now come into Sony. Wow. And they take us to Sony. Me and Dana, they go, you just got to read for the executives in the boardroom. 
So me and Dana Gould walk into this giant boardroom. There was all these executives. Me and Dana do like two or three scenes. The executives are just staring at us like, who the fuck are these guys? Because we'd never done anything. Right. And then we were gone faster than one of your uh, Chinese popcorn farts. Wow. Yeah. So they didn't no call back? No, we were just we were just done. The, the, they were cuz this director was new, right? Yeah, Jason just, Bloom. It was yeah. his first thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so he was excited. I think he was like, "Hey, it's my movie. I yeah. get to cast who I want." He right. didn't realize the studio gets to say and then they were just, we don't know who Dana Gould and Harlan Williams are gone. Right. And then tell me how you ended up getting it. Because now all I got to do is be angry and jealous and bitter. Well, you were in that other movie, though, with Ben Stiller. That was fantastic. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But I, now I'm, I'm curious. I'm not fucking kidding. I'm fucking kidding. You're really good in that well, movie. I'm you were jerking him off when you were driving I'm, down the I street. None of that. There is none of that. You're, he was you're jerking you off? You're delusional again. You got your eyes I took, upside down. I took drugs. I'm sorry. You got drugs. Did you ever fly see that? Fever. Did you ever see? <laughs> did you ever see the documentary called Xanax? It's on Netflix. Can we please answer my question? You were sitting here for 20 minutes going, ask me a question. I know, but I, I just took a Xanax. I know, but that doesn't involve my brain. It involves yours. So we're going to do things. Okay, I'll slow it down. But what I need to know. <laughs> Holy dragonfly Sorry. noises. Okay, <laughs> how did you get the biodome thing? Because I know how I got it and lost it, but how did you get it? Was it just offered you because you were offered, hot? Yeah, you were offered, hot. yeah, offered to me. Because you were coming off of Encino Man, right? Mm. Or something. I think it was the Army movie or Jury Duty or something. Yeah, uh, Yeah. Were, no, it was Jury Duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, no, yeah, they offered. Yeah, yeah. No, biodome was before Jury Duty. It was after. It was? It was. Wow. Yeah, so, and plus I'm a good actor. Yeah, you are. One of the best. One of the best. Yeah. Nicolas Cage is putting me in one of his films. And when you see me act with Nicolas Cage, and I fucking start stealing scenes from him, people are going to be like, fuck, this is the motherfucker. Why are we dealing around with this fucking Cage guy? This is the guy. Is that important to you, acting? Do you really want to, you want to, yes. you want to get in solid, just do it more I and love more? it. I love it. Would you, you, you want that to be kind of your main thing now or what? If the no, uh, if the parts right and the situations right and the actors and the directors and the and it all lines up, yeah. But I'm not going to work on something that I'm not into. Yeah. But if something comes along that you know has got a great cast around it, you know. What's the ultimate movie for you? And it doesn't have to be comedy. For no. All I know it's a serial killer yeah. movie. But what if Pauly Shore could do the movie of his dreams? What is it? Anything, a specific movie or yeah. a role or a, a director? A, a movie, like you you in a role. Like as a, is it a dramatic? Is it a musical? I think is maybe it? a bad guy, you yeah. know, like a sinister guy, like a, a, yeah. a villain would be fucking dope. Why? Why are you going Just cause there? Just because there, because... Because, you know, everyone wants to play a villain, and then also it's unexpected. Yeah. You know, because everyone, you know, I play goofy shit all the time, so yeah. something a little darker. I did do this uh, um, this short film called Sin City Psycho, yeah. and it's on YouTube, and I play a villain in it, and it's pretty real, and it's not played, like, silly. Do you find yeah. that when you when you go for the villain role, yeah. it lets you dig deep and be... Because we do comedy, we do silly stuff. Yeah. But when you play the dark character, it lets you like kind of dig into the yes. drama. Is yes. that part yeah, of it? I love it. I'm the same way, yeah, man. I love it. I love it. I love... I would, um, I would love the chance to play like a so, dark, like kind of sinister guy. Yeah, and then something just subtle and, and not, you know, crazy and stuff like that yeah. and more real and, you know, more... Um, you know, something that people would be like, was that fucking Polly Shore? Is that fucking Harlan yeah. Williams? There's no way. It's kind of like yeah. when Sandler did that movie about the diamonds. What was mm -hmm. that? That diamond movie he did? Yeah, Blood Diamond. No, that was uh, that was um, Just say, Leonardo yeah, DiCaprio. Yeah. No, uh, uh, yeah, I the, forgot. He the, played um, that New York yeah, it's diamond. Great. It's great. And yeah. it's like you didn't see that coming from right, Sandler. Right, right. But it was well, he, intense and dark well, he and was, dramatic. Yeah, he's he's pretty much the king. What do you mean? He's the king of, of all movies. I mean, he really is. Because he's he hasn't stopped working since the 90s. Yeah, you're right. I mean, just movie after, and he's not going to stop. And now and, he's getting into the dramatic stuff that yeah, you want. He's he, taking your parts. And yeah, and, and with him, and with him, he's he is probably going through the same thing. You know, he was doing it like Happy Gilmore and, and yeah. all these kind of, you know, Big Daddy, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. all these different kind of silly great films that were kind of wacky and then he's like yo i want to do something different and then it was up to uh to paul thomas anderson 
who who cast him in um, that movie. I forgot what it was called, but he did that movie. Where he played a dramatic. He played a dramatic role, and he was fantastic in That's it. That's the Diamond one I'm talking no, about. No, the Diamond was more recently. Paul Thomas Anderson was. Uh, um, I, you know, not no. You're talking about Uncut Gems. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, one. Uncut yeah. Gems. The other one was. Um, I thought that was a circumcision movie, by the way, at first. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, I love uh, acting is my favorite. It is. So, yeah, dude. So yeah, would you put comedy? Would you put stand up behind you if you could just act? Yeah, you would. Yeah. Do you do you agree with that whole thing? Because you're 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 a comedian. The whole. Comedy's the hardest thing to do, acting wise. Without sounding snobby, I I feel like it's not because that's what we're wired to do. Yeah. But every other actor, like Meryl Streep and all the serious actors, always do. Comedy's the hardest thing. Mm. But we're com- we're comics. Yeah. So we're able to pull you know pull that off. So why um, is it when they say these the big dramatic actors always say comedy is the hardest thing to do? Why is it it's the only category that doesn't exist at the Oscars? Best comedy. Do you think it, 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 comedy's been overlooked and, and not given its due uh, props? I think that it just has kind of a lower kind of echelon than the other kind of stuff for some reason. But they kind of like put it, you know what I mean? But that's like, what I don't get. They all yeah. say it's the hardest to do. Yeah. And yet... Like, look at Leslie Nielsen in the Naked Gun movie. Right, it's like, right, right. that is such a subtle, beautiful form of right, comedy. Right. Not hardly anyone could do Pull that. that off, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. As go- I think because it's goofy and wacky, it takes the seriousness off it, obviously, and so it gets overlooked. I don't like that. Well, maybe after people, you know, the two people that listen and watch your podcast, two, maybe, yeah, Don, maybe and two, Don and Carol, after they see this, they can kind of do the clip, send it to the, you know, the Academy, and maybe they could shift and they can have a, a comedy category. What do you think? I think that? they should. I, I it started here on the Harlan Williams Hershey Hideway podcast. Like, I think the, the Did Austin. Did you have that made at Staples? Uh, actually, I got. Or I, Office I, Depot. I got Office Depot. Okay. What do you yeah, think? Well, no, I was, I, I know, because I, yeah, because I seen that template over there. You should, what? Just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just heard you do like, like one of those. Okay, what? Well, I just, haven't eaten. I know, but I'm wondering where that from comes me? from, do you like, like steak? slurping gurgle noises. Oh, no, my baby is back. Can I bring my dog up here? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to put him on the table? Yes. Bring him up. That's sick. You're the opposite of Jeremiah Watkins. Here, He's a let me pussy. I'll move this. Jeremiah Polly's going to put his dog up on the Harland Highway table. Here we go. Oh, shit. oh my God. Maybe not. What? He's too big. His toupee? Yeah, he's too big. Well. Oh, he's right. too heavy. He's like 60 pounds. Well, I think. I almost hurt my back. You did? Almost. Oh, my God. That's that polio. Oh, my God. And you have a dog, too. What the fuck? Yeah, that's my Holy dog. Shit. Yeah. shit. He's got a dog, right? too, you guys. Look at that. He's a meat eater. Oh, sweet. So when I was talking to you or texting you a couple yeah. weeks ago when you requested my presence yeah. for this, this podcast, you are on your way to Reno. I was? You said, I go, where are you going? You oh, go, yeah, yeah. I'm doing yeah. a show in Reno. So Laugh Reno. Factory? No. Where was it? It was like a casino. You did it. Which one? Crystal Bay. Yes. Casino. It was a really weird place. It's the it's the Frank Sinatra built a casino up wow. there. I, I and they say that's where him, him and Marilyn Monroe and the Rat Pack hung out up there. And they all the people up there, they said this. They go, they believe that Marilyn was murdered up there. Wow. And Sinatra and all them had a helicopter pad on the wow. roof. And they say that they believe she was murdered there, and they flew her back to L.A., wow. Marilyn's body. It wow. was kind of creepy. Everyone up there says they've seen her ghost. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> That's pretty heavy. Marilyn Monroe. But, but, yeah, so, because we did a show. It was me, you, and Tom Green. Yeah. That was fun. We did. We went through Chicago town. Yeah, that was a we good went time. Went through the Chicago area. That was cool. Yeah, people go nuts for you, bro. Mm. They go absolutely ape shit. So do you like do you like bopping around touring still? I think I yes and no con- combo I, right I, I, combo yeah yeah. 
but I, I like I like doing this kind of stuff mm. too. It's fun. Yeah, because when I first saw you, I don't know when did you start this? About a year ago, six months ago? No, like five months ago. Five months it's ago. When new. I first, yeah, when I first started seeing you do this, I was happy. I'm like, you cool. were? Yeah, of course, because oh, I love you. Of course, <laughs> I you. love you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I was happy that you were doing this. Uh-huh. Um, because uh. Yeah, everyone, like I said earlier, everyone's got a podcast, everyone's on Instagram, everyone's yeah. on Twitter. It's a, but you said it even earlier, you're like, dude, do you like it? I'm like, well, we don't have a choice. Yeah, this it's kind of yeah. the thing we, we got to do now. Yeah, you have to do it. So If you had to do a TED Talk, mm. let's say you had to give a TED Talk on your life mm. or your contribution in life, what, what's that It look would be like? three minutes. It would? Yeah, it'd be a quick one. Um, what would it be about? What would Polly Shore's TED Talk be about? Good God. Well, I don't know. I think the, the resilience, you know, I have my mom and dad in me, you know, and they're, they're fighters. So I they have are? that. Yeah, I have that kind of like, you know, where you get punched and you get knocked down. You okay? I didn't punch you. You get punched, you get knocked down, you get up. So that's kind of like what life is. You know, life is kind of yeah. one big fuck you, you know. Every morning you wake up, you're tired or you're this. You have all these excuses. You can't do this, you can't do that. But, you know, um, I keep I keep going. Yeah. You know, I keep I get out of bed and I keep going every day. So, I don't know. I think that's what life's about. Yeah. You just keep going, just you know. Just fucking get up. You just got to get up. Yeah, I mean, power, we're all sit power. there. We all sit there in the fucking morning. Yeah. And we're like on our phones and we're like sitting there like, when should we get up? And, and then, you know, when I get out of bed, like yeah. I'm older now. What do you do? Well, I, I, I roll to the side in like a fetal position. Okay. And then I push my way up like that so I don't hurt my back. Oh, Let you me do that one more time. So okay. I roll on the side. Yeah. And I go, yeah. push my way up. Do you have back issues? Most mm. people with polio do. Mm. My back issues, yeah, a little bit. I Twisted. had ba- I had back surgery a while ago. Twisted, gnarly spine. Yeah, How'd southwest, you, south by southwest. No, that that's a that's a um, that's a festival. How did you tweak your spine up, guy? Like, how did you power jack? flying coach? Flying coach. Yeah, mm-hmm. probably. I fly coach. <laughs> Why do you fly coach? I like it. I don't mind it. But look at the result. You've got a your your back's jacked. Yeah. Poor guy. Can we take a break? I'm tired all of a sudden. You are? Mm-hmm. Do you want to take a nap? Yeah. All right. You want to put your head down? <sighs> yeah. Just gonna keep it nice and quiet here for a few minutes, folks, and let Polly have a little nap. A lot of energy to make me do. It's all right. Just take a little breather, have a nap, and I'll just kind of sit here and interpret. Well, I'm trying to interpret your dreams. If plug, plug some of your dates or something. Um. So uh, let's see. Oh, I was uh, gonna talk to Polly about uh, when he wakes up again uh, about health and uh, health-related issues got these crazy things i don't know if it's just women or girls but whenever you get sick and god bless the women they rush in with all kinds of little products for you to like heal this is stuff guys don't really go for or even know about here's this thing called liquid iv and for all intents and purposes i need a fucking liquid iv it, it, oh, look at this. shit, that's cool. Well, it looks like all it does is it makes water wetter, oh. which is ridiculous to me. Someone's paying to make water wetter. Huh. It's like, that's, that's virtually impossible. I know, but read Water's it. Water's it, wetter. It's ridiculous. And then this thing's called throat coat, huh. and it's like suddenly there's something you, you're going to coat your throat, huh. and that's going to make you better. But do you feel like when girls get sick, they they come up with all this stuff like euchanasia? I and, love this. This is this and, is great. And, and uh, uh, eucalyptus, and it seems like they well, find all these these vitamins and weird things. What is it? Oh, this is great. I'm, can I can I borrow these? Pour one in your water if you want. What is it? Oh, there's smoke coming out of it. Oh wow! 
Are you sure you so know what it's a liquid IV? I kind of this is great. How'd you know I need you knew when I I just I you said you needed help when you I fell passed asleep, out. Yeah, you yeah. passed out and it just showed up. Yeah, it was like something I had that I wanted to it, talk to you about. But see, oh, see now your water's bubbling. That's all right. Look at there's like smoke coming out. It's like you're in an evil laboratory with Satan. What's it doing? It's not bad. Does it? Does the water feel wetter? No, it feels more um, foamy. This might be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Do you want the throat coat stuff? I can smell it. it smells like yeast. Hydration multiplexer player. Yeah. I don't know. Do you want any of this? Throat coat? Yeah. I can do that later after I suck a big penis. Whoa, guy, where did that saying, come I'm, from? I was raised in West Hollywood, dude. But what does that mean? You're gonna later on. You're gonna go and do what? Suck a big penis. But how? Where? You how just does, find it, and it just hits you in your chin, and you put it in your mouth. How does that even come about, though? I'm just kidding. Oh, what's this stuff? This is probably, you know, when you start getting COVID. Remember when we started doing our thing? That's where we first got COVID together. What? Right? I never got COVID. With me, you did. What? You got... Oh, yeah, you did get COVID. Yeah. That's right. You did get COVID. Everyone's getting it again, right? How did... That, tell me your COVID experience. What did it feel like? I'd rather talk about my piss surgery. Okay. What yeah. happened? Your urethra, you're having problems with your urethra? I don't know what a urethra is. That's the, the tube where all your pee comes out. No, it's more like emptying my bladder. Okay, what's going on? Well, you know, you can see I've been here for, for a while and I haven't had to go pee. Right. So before the surgery, I would have had to say, you have to go pee. Wait, you had surgery? Yes. For what? I'm telling you, I had my head, it's called, re, it's called resume. It's basically, it's a surgery that you do, and after you do the surgery, you resume to how you used to pee before you had a pee problem. But what's the, what was the pee problem? It wasn't, was it getting wasn't, clogged? No, it wasn't emptying my prostate. So, for Ew. instance, like, say you go to sleep at night, yeah. and you pee Ew. before you go to sleep, Yuck. and then you lie down, Ew. and then you still have more pee left in your Yuck. bladder. Yeah. Ew. So that's kind of what happened. So it feels, you get up to go pee... But then you go back to bed and it now feels like you... with both of them. It feels like you haven't gone pee. Right. Yeah, it's called not emptying your bladder. Why can't you empty your bladder? I don't know. My shit was clogged. My, my prostate was clogged or something. I don't know. Did you, do you eat a lot of bacon? I don't know. Oh, God, dude. Yeah. But now you had a surgery and you can... What's it called? Resume. And now you can pee. No, now my bladder empties when I pee. How many times a day do you pee? Just normal. Like how many? I think I might need a number. I don't know. I don't count. But Maybe that, three or four times in the day, the yeah. whole day. Something okay. like that. Creepy. You ever wet your bed? No. You can be honest. No. Can I go lie down in the other room? Here. Toss to a commercial. Or okay, something. go have a I lay down on the idea. couch. I gotta go make sure my dog's not eating up your shit. Yeah, lay on the couch and have a little nap, and then come back in about. Can you come back in about ten minutes? Okay. Ah, uh, so Paulie's gonna take a little break. He's exhausted, and uh, I'm exhausted. I mean, holy smokes! I mean, just trying to keep up, keep up the pace here. What's that? Well, if you could not talk from the other room, I'm trying to do a podcast. Um, it's kind of distracting, and I'm talking. Well, if you could not yell from the other room either, I'm trying to do a podcast and tr trying to do some topics. Um, so anyways, uh, we were talking about health issues, and I don't know what it is, but women seem to find all the craziest ingredients to help you get through the flu or a cold or something 
Uh, there's always uh, some kind of eucalyptus bush or uh, some kind of uh, some kind of a magic elixir or some kind of uh, vitamins that I've never heard of. And uh, suddenly they're jamming stuff into their faces and asking you to take stuff. And it's like, holy God, I've never even heard of all this madness. So I don't know where you ladies get it or where it comes from, but uh, holy God. How you feeling? Uh, well, maybe not. I mean, I don't want you. Do you sl- drool when you sleep? I do. Oh, God. I'm going to have drool all over the studio. Polly's uh, having a nap out in the studio. We're going to have drool. We're going to have polio drool all over the place. And uh, so we better go uh, check in on Polly Shore. And uh, all right, I just did some cocaine. I'm okay. Oh, you're coming back? Yeah, I just did some cocaine. I'm okay. Sorry about that. Whoa, bro, are you okay? You look rested. I know. I just did a just did a line. I'm good. You did a line of coke? Yeah. No I mean, way. not the actual drug. There's Coca Cola in there. I poured it and I just put it in the thing and I snorted it. You sure you're yeah. okay? You look a little pet. Do you want to do any good? I think I have polio again. Yeah. I think you, yeah. What, I'm dude? just seeing if there's any there's polio. There's nothing. Huh? Let's go. Rock polio. and roll, bro. Well, there's some it's polio. hard to go toe-to-toe with you with this fucking bullshit for an hour, dude. It's tiring. I know, but it's not this me. It's supposed to be got... in 15-minute increments. I don't have the polio. You do. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Should I wear my headphones for the podcast? Because we're going to say goodbye now. Oh, so yeah, you, okay. you got to... So, uh, before we go, anything you want to... You look so rested. You look rested. I need to just do a line. I'm good now. Yeah. Do, okay. do you have anything you want to plug, guy, before we, before we wrap just it up? Just my butt plug. Go ahead. Okay. So, hey, guys, I have a butt plug that Harlan took out, and he's putting it back in. Boop, 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 boop. No, I'm just kidding. No, I love you, and, oh, um, thank, and you. thank you for being you. Thank you. Buddy. And I know your papers are due in three months for your Canadian yeah, uh, for visa my, thing. Yeah. So you can use me as a reference. I can? Yeah, you could say okay. that we're married or whatever. That or ma- I know that. someone with severe polio. Or someone that can keep you in the country so you don't have to go back to Suzanne Macron. Suzanne Macron. Macron. <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here, and I'm happy that um, you live in such a small, nice small apartment in uh, Frogtown. But don't um, you want to plug like your your oh. your, your gigs and your uh, want people to come see so you? So go guy. to yeah, go to my YouTube, go yeah. to my Instagram, my Facebook. It's just Polly Shore. Yeah. If you're interested in any of my stuff, uh, my band it's called the Krusties. We got Guest House on Netflix coming out December 18th. We got December 27th. We got uh uh, uh what is it? Uh, it's called um it's called Big Trip Number Two. Whoa. It's a sequel. Okay. Because the big trip one did so well. So many people saw the big trip one. They did? One. Yeah. Okay. And I play a bear uh, called Mick Mick, and that comes out with Lionsgate. And then um, I'm the voice of Pinocchio. Whoa. Father, I come to be on my own. I have the whole world to see. So I did that. That's out. That's gone viral. I feel a little queasy after hearing that. Father, I'm going to be my oh. own. I got the whole world to oh, see. Oh. And then check out my band oh. called Polly Shore and the what? The Krusties. The Krusties. It's me and a bunch of senior citizens. We got Guido. We got Norm and Pop Belly Richard. And, of course, baby Larry David's in that shit. Are you sure you don't want to put your dog up before we go? And then we got the one-man show, Stick With The Dancing, that we just did at the comedy store. Whoa. Last night, and that's cool. So you okay. guys, I'll be in Maui and Hawaii for the holidays. Wow. So if you're out there and you want a Shaka Brada, wow. Shaka Brada will be there. And I guess that the Wheeze has what? Left the building, bro. The oh. Wheeze has left the motherfucking building. Are you going to put your dog up? No, he's too big, dude. He's going to smash all your shit. <laughs> Later, bro. Peace. See ya, Polly. Ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only, the polio, 
Holly Shore, and uh, we are out of here. Thank you for being here today with me and Polly. And until next time, chicken chow mein, baby. You're not still here, are you? Well, I heard you say no.